out here today monitoring for chloride because the state has some water quality standards that we've set to help us determine you know, what the right level of chloride you know, can be in the water bodies. That's 230 milligrams per liter, which is about one teaspoon in five gallons of water. So you can imagine it doesn't take very much chloride to contaminate our lakes and streams. And in the metro area, our primary source of chloride to our lakes and streams is road salt. There are other sources um, from wastewater treatment plants, water softeners, but in the metro, uh, road salt is the primary source of, of chloride. We have several water bodies that are actually exceeding the state standard which is why we're um, concerned and we have this project underway to get a better understanding of really how many of our lakes and streams um, are exceeding the state standards that are threatening the aquatic life. We have a project going on right now that we're monitoring 74 lakes across the seven county metro. We, we have a real challenge before us because obviously um, road safety is very important and critical, um, but water quality um, is also an important value. And so trying to find that balance between providing safe roads for the public, but protecting our water resources from being contaminated from road salt is a very unique and, and challenging project for us to undertake. And so for homeowners, that means putting less salt down, getting out and shoveling right as the storm comes so that you don't have the buildup of ice. For cities, counties, and the state, that means maybe switching to a, a wet solution of, of chloride that sticks to the road and doesn't bounce off into the sides, which you can use less salt and you can use it more effectively, stays on the road, prevents that ice from bonding. For the cities and counties, it really saves them a lot of money because they're not having to put as much product down. So there are a lot of ways that we all together can kind of reduce the impacts. If our groundwater begins to um, get contaminated with chloride, that becomes an issue as well, where it would be costly to have to treat all of our drinking water to remove the road salt. By working with um, you know, the other the MnDOT, other state agencies, the cities, the counties, uh, and other local partners to come up with a plan and what can we all do together to reduce our impacts to make sure that we're able to still provide safe roads but also maintain um, healthy you know, conditions for the fish and bugs living in our lakes and streams.